like to take a second to thank you for checking out my campaign. Now what I'm bringing this time is a newly envisioned torch model box. If you go back to my very, very first Kickstarter campaign years ago, when I first got my laser cutter, I wanted to do something with LEDs and I created the original Illumination series. It was a series of four different deck boxes, all with LED power supplies inside and cool flashing lights. Now, I have taken the original torch model and I've updated and upgraded it. So let's get right into the, the meat of the box here. The switch is still located on the bottom, only it's been upgraded. Still have two locking spring-loaded latching clasps and inside you have a removable piece of acrylic that can be replaced, substituted, whatever you'd like. Uh, these can be custom engraved and I want them to be custom. So whatever you can imagine, as long as it's simple enough to go on acrylic, that means no photographs obviously, uh, then we're going to put it on there for you. I want you to really, really love this box. Additional pieces of acrylic can be added on. Inside, you've got a removable box that protects your cards. And this box will hold 130 double sleeved cards. That's with Pro Fits or Perfect Fits and, you know, Dragon Shields are what I use, but whichever shield you use, they'll fit. Now, for somebody like me, when I play Commander, I like playing, well, <laughs> I like playing token decks a lot of times. And my kitty token deck has a lot of different types of tokens and stuff. So I needed the space. That's why I made it a little bit larger than normal. The power supply has been completely changed. The original LED power supply had two LEDs soldered in by hand. These are a bit different. These actually run strip LEDs and four will fit. So it's pretty awesome. You can open it up to change out the batteries whenever your batteries do eventually die. And I've run these for up to 70 hours without them dying. And I just, after 70 hours, I just gave up. I just turned it off. I'm sure it would die eventually, but they don't use that much juice. The switch, as you can see, has been upgraded from the old tiny little sliding switch. And this is only for those of you that have seen the original Torch model. I wanted to upgrade and update everything about the box. So I did. Now, when you back for this campaign, you will choose one of nine hardwood species. Or, there are options. You can also choose Baltic birch. Now, the Baltic birch is an inexpensive but high quality cabinet grade plywood. Now, the Baltic birch can come finished and assembled by me or you can save even more money and get it as a kit that you assemble by hand at home. It takes roughly 30 minutes counting well 30 minutes worth of work you have to let the glue dry whenever you make your boxes. All you will need is some wood glue and some rubber bands. That's it. I'm going to put an instructional video in the campaign page. It runs about 10 minutes long, but you can see the entirety all the way through. And that's building the power supplies and everything. Now, as you can see, all of these have square openings. What we have is a two and a half inch square. However, for this campaign, we're shaking it up. Like I say, I want it to be fully customizable. And that means that you can do cool stuff like these 
different shapes instead. You can do circles, you can do rainbows, you can do stars or heart shapes. Simple shapes, even a D20. I could cut out a, a shape of a D20 and rock it out that way for those of you that are RPGing it out. Now these boxes weigh roughly one and a half pounds a piece, which means for those of us in the US, they're gonna ship priority mail. International backers, it's the, the four pound rate is what it's gonna cost. Thank you for checking out my Kickstarter campaign. We'll